my makeup and I was not a huge fan of it at all so I actually just ended up wiping it all off with this new First Aid Beauty cleansing oil makeup remover that I just got in the mail. It actually worked really well. I didn't even have to go to the sink. I just like poured it on my face and then used a cotton thingy. So I took it off and then, but like I didn't take off my eye stuff. I took off all the face stuff and then I put back on some blush and I'm just like not, I'm just not feeling my face vibe today. My acne is kind of acting up. You guys can't see because I kind of catfish you guys a lot because there's like a blur on the Sony ZV-1, which is what I film on. So it blurs out my skin. But like when I get close up, like you can see my skin is not the best right now. It's been going through it. I sort of got dressed, but I put back on my PJ shirt. Basically, I'm just gonna be wearing these camo pants because I'm going thrifting today in Brooklyn. I'm probably gonna wear this white super crap crap top. It's like literally like the height of a bra, but then like the coverage of a t-shirt, which I love. That's like my favorite type of shirt, especially with like my big baggy pants, even though I'm feeling not the best, which is why I kind of put on my comfort pants because whenever I'm not like feeling the most confident these pants always like elevate my confidence by like times 20 i don't know what it is about these pants but like i feel like other people hate them well of course it doesn't look good with this but like with the shirt i feel like it looks really cute days like today where i know my period's coming and i'm kind of like pmsing is when i feel the least confident and it's not i feel like it's not even like an appearance thing because i look exactly the same as i did a few days ago but i think it's just like the period mentality that's making me feel like crappy. I think I'm gonna do one of these vibes for my hair. I kind of have to perfect it, but this is like the mock claw clip look. I think I kind of like it. At least I like it from the front. I feel like it looks, ooh, probably looks stupid for the back, but I don't care about how people perceive me from the back because I feel like my best self is from the front. I think I'm gonna go eat some quick breakfast before I leave though because it's one o'clock. That way I'm not hungry while I'm thrifting. I don't even know my mindset that I'm going into with this thrifting excursion. I think I'm more so just browsing, but like I always end up getting something when I leave at their store, but genuinely I'm putting a budget on myself because I don't have money to be spending on thrifting clothes because I just spent a bunch of money on actual online shopping. I don't shop at a lot of online stores because I just feel like I hate the hassle of getting stuff and then it doesn't fit and then I have to return it but white fox I love for specific things so I got a bunch of I mean I'm probably gonna do a haul when it comes in but these shorts that I've been wearing religiously are from white fox so I got a bunch of loungewear and then motel rocks I love motel rocks they're just very pricey so I only got two things and that came out to like $200 or $100 I don't know <laughs> Start your computations. I got two packages downstairs. I already know what this one is because I ordered it from Amazon. I decided to get a yoga mat because the weather is getting so much nicer and I want to start doing like yoga, stretching, and maybe do a, like a little bit of working out outside just because I always feel motivated to do active things when the weather's nice and I wanna be outside and do it. But I wanted a cute aesthetic yoga mat so I can take my little Pinterest for the pictures while I do it because most of the time I do stuff for the pictures. I'm going to try this summer to turn my Instagram into more of like a Pinterest board of my life. I want to just start taking pictures and make it like casual. I know people have mixed opinions on casual Instagram but I love following people's Instagrams when it's just like pictures of them eating food or like you know like casual even though I know it's staged and I know it's posed but I still rather see that than like posing in front of a wall, you know? Here's my yoga mat. I think I'm gonna do this tomorrow when I wake up, cause tomorrow's Saturday. It's nice and soft though. I can link it down below, but I got it on Amazon and they had a cute color selection. I honestly didn't care about the quality of it. I just wanted a cute pastel green. So I went with whichever one was pastel green. So I'll link that down below. They put some yoga poses on the little page. I'm probably not gonna need that because I'm probably gonna watch like a yoga video and follow that along. I just got this PR package from, it seems like L'Oreal Paris. So I figured we could open this up real quick before I leave. Transport yourself to paradise. New Glow Paradise Lip, Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, Lip and Cheek Tint, Balm in Stick Lipstick, and Lip Balm Gloss. Oh my God. There's so much stuff in here. Guys, 
there's literally so much stuff in here. I'm definitely going to be sharing a bunch of this with my mom because she always is like, okay, what did we get? Like, whenever I get a PR box, she's like, what did we get today? I'm like, it's, it was definitely addressed to me, but I do share it with her. I'm excited for whatever blush thing that they said. Oh, this is the lip and cheek tint. This is the one that I'm excited for because I really love blush. So who knows? Maybe I'll try this tomorrow. I don't know if I'm putting on makeup tomorrow, but I think L'Oreal is supposed to make good lash products. So excited for that. Wow, there's literally so Oh, I think there's... I think they even put two mascaras, so I can definitely give one to my mom. I think there's literally a duplicate of everything, so we're both gonna have fun with this one. I also need, need, need to tell you guys about this new book that I'm literally obsessed with. So I actually got this whole book series. Well, not, I think it's the whole series. Basically, this is book one of the Infernal Devices series from Cassandra Clare. And Cassandra Clare, I can, I think I can confidently say is my favorite author, at least currently. Like I won't say of all time because I haven't read that many books, but every time I pick up a, every time I pick up, Every time I pick up a Cassandra Clare book, it takes over my entire existence and it becomes my entire personality trait. She has so many, but like I've read the entire Mortal Instruments series, which is phenomenal. And that is what really like jump started me into a lot of sci fi stuff. But, anyways, so let me describe this book and why I'm obsessed with it. It's not like a sequel, but it's like a prequel sequel to the trilogy of the Mortal Instruments. So it's kind of confusing, like, because there's so many books that she's written and she's kind of written some of them out of order. This book takes place in the 1800s. I don't know if you remember, but Christmas time is when I first bought this book and I was supposed to read it then after I read Legendborn, but I just didn't get around to it. And I think Literally everything happens for a reason because I'm reading this right after coming off of my Bridgerton obsession. So I'm really into the old England stuff and that's exactly what this is. Like it's literally set in London in the 1800s with the servants and the dresses and like all that stuff. I think it was perfect timing for me to read this. I highly recommend if you guys are into, it's more so fantasy. If you guys are into fantasy such as angels, demons, warlocks, fairies, vampires, werewolves, it literally touches every category of the fantasy realm. If you guys are into that but also into like younger characters because I think the character the main character she's like 15 coming of age fantasy with like romance and like love triangles enemies lovers all of that stuff if you're into that then highly suggest this book and also probably majority of Cassandra Clare's books but I do say they say that you don't have to read the mortal instruments to be able to understand the inferno devices but I would still say it's better if you read the first three books of the mortal instruments and then move on to inferno devices read in front of devices and then finish mortal instruments i looked up the best ways to read cassandra claire books because she has like 50 freaking books but they all take place in the same world the mortal instruments really 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 describes the world that you're kind of like thrown into because like there's so many different terms and things and like rules and all this stuff cassandra claire can really take the cake for like one of the best fantasy writers like the world that she creates it reminds me of marvel in the sense because she builds everything around the real world the mortal instruments really drew me in because the main character was from i think she was from brooklyn this supernatural fantasy world that's like surrounding new york city but like new yorkers and like humans don't know it exists because it's like invisible to the human eye but like then there's all of these things happening in my city i like when they name like landmarks from new york and stuff like that so moral of the story is look up cassandra claire and go to barnes and nobles or go on amazon and read a book and start the series honestly if you've never started a cassandra claire book just go pick up city of bones you'll be hooked do it I feel haunted in my bedroom The floorboards in the next room Will keep me warm Cause you ought to know Nothing about you makes me
I'm about to do some yoga slash working out, but I'm trying to decide if I want to do it outside because it's nice and sunny outside, but I feel like it's going to be really cold because it's only like 40 something degrees. So I have a hoodie, but I feel like this isn't going to be enough. I feel like I should still go downstairs, scope it out and see how it goes because I have to fill up my water bottle anyways. So um, I'll see if I'll do it outside. If not, I could just do it here and like open up the window because I feel like when I do yoga, because this is going to be my first time doing yoga. You know, trying new thing. I want to do it to like the sound of nature. So maybe I could just open up my window and like hear the birds chirp. Like, can we just imagine me in a public yoga class and I'm walking in like, hey everybody. Hey everybody here for class. Oh my God, oh my God, Tiffany, how are you? You got lip filler instead? No way, it looks so good. Like, can we, can we picture me like that? Like, uh, mm. It's genuinely freezing outside, so we're definitely doing inside today. This is like the makeshift at home gym. It's like that monster, that's the newest item. I don't think you guys have ever seen that, but my parents got a Peloton and I was supposed to try to use it and I have not since. Even though I'm like working out today, I don't think I'm tackling that because just like not mentally there. I'm feeling like doing like two sit-ups, two push-ups and calling it a day. But I think I'm gonna do a workout vibe before I do my yoga. Cause like, I don't know what order you're supposed to do it in, but I feel like heavy workout and then relaxing yoga goes better. Instead of doing Chloe Tang one, I think I'm gonna try a Daisy Keach ab workout. I saw a TikTok about this girl that did a Daisy Keach ab workout, or like she was doing them consistently and like she liked the results. She's like a TikToker, but I mean, you know, don't knock anybody's hustle, so I'm gonna try it. Lucy won't let me close the door, so if I smack her in the face while I do this workout, it's to her own accord, because I try to close the door, and she cries, and I let her in, and she wants to crawl on me while I do a workout. So, you know, we'll see what happens. up a 10 minute yoga video and this was like the first one that came up so i'm gonna try this out i don't know see how it goes again this is my first time so like you know just feeling the waters I wanted to wear something a little bit more springy, but it's just so chilly. So then it's like cold in the house. But like this is giving very much fall. Like it's giving me fall vibes and I want to give spring 
because I didn't even tell you guys, but today is Easter. So happy Easter um, if you celebrate. Basically today, I mean, we don't really do much for Easter, like celebratory wise, but my mom just like kind of like cooks dinner. So she's making like lamb, mac and cheese. Um, mm quinoa, peach cobbler, like it's a good meal. Basically every mainstream holiday we use it as an excuse to eat good food. And like, I'm not mad about that tradition, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like my greatest love language is eating food. Eating other people's food that they make for me, I think is my truest form of a love language. I wanted to like be a little bit more like Easter festive, but it is cold. So I'm in sweater, t-shirt and sweatpants and Uggs. I'm super hungry, but I am gonna eat in like an hour. I wanna try to get some editing done. I want to finish my video so that I can put it up today because I keep trying to post like twice a week and then it just ends up doing it like once a week. My uploading schedule is like genuinely such a like a fluctuation. That's why I'm like, try to put, turn on my post notifications, but also I think YouTube doesn't even let half the people know like when that goes on. So like, I don't even know. But normally it's between like Sundays and Mondays is like the specific day. But honestly, sometimes I just post random days. But I would like to post today and I would like to post before it gets too late. And I also want to get it done. That way I'm not doing this the entire Easter Sunday when like my brother comes and I want to like relax and watch the ultimatum. Because guys, everybody on TikTok has been talking about the ultimatum. It's basically a reality TV show that's created by the same people that made Love is Blind. So think of Love is Blind and they made it a different show. Basically, I didn't like Love is Blind. I thought the concept was really dumb, but the ultimatum, the concept is really dumb and I feel like it's made to set people up to fail. But I think I like the drama a little bit more. We've been watching that, but it's literally an hour each episode. So we have like four more to go. This morning I decided to not eat eggs because I was kind of feeling like the eggs were what was making me nauseous But I'm starting to feel like it might be the amount of food that I'm eating Like I make a lot of food and then I force myself to eat it all because I don't want to waste But I feel like I'm always nauseous after my breakfast because I'm like stuffing myself overly So I feel like I need to like make less food so that I'm not nauseous after I eat each meal I ate my breakfast upstairs today because there's still I ate my breakfast upstairs and I had like the TV on like that and it kind of reminded me like flashbacks to my studio apartment like a few months ago because I would always eat on this desk and then I would have the TV on and I would like turn the TV and I would just like face it that way because I never bought a dining table while I was there because there was just like no space for a dining table. So my desk doubled as my vanity workspace and dining table. It did kind of make me miss my studio apartment though, but like not the studio apartment itself. Like if I could pick up that studio apartment and drop it in Brooklyn with like a south facing window, I would be there in a heartbeat. Like, I can't do that, can I? I can't do that. I just got this package in the mail from Motel and I ordered this like a few days ago. It actually paid pretty quick for like Motel Rocks being a UK brand. But I don't know, I guess they're like faster. But I also, I was gonna wait because I'm gonna be doing like a spring, or I guess like spring slash summer because there's like, spring is non-existent in New York. But I was gonna do like a spring slash summer try on haul, just like shopping vibe. This was gonna be included, but it came fast. And the other stuff that I ordered from White Fox 
and white fox is australian and they're like all the way across the globe so i feel like that's gonna take longer to come so i might as well just open this up now and it's only two things so oh they put the motel times olivia neal i was so into this collab and i honestly like i really love most of the stuff from it if you don't know olivia neal is remember when i was in that phase where i was like obsessed with this irish youtuber this is her olivia neal if you didn't know who she was so she did a collab with motel i didn't get anything from the collab just because motel is like kind of like expensive like the stuff is great quality like i got my leather jacket from there and my leather jacket was like a hundred and something dollars but honestly i wear that like every single day like it's such a high quality leather jacket it's exactly what i wanted but like the stuff is just like a little bit expensive but it's super cute and it's like i only get stuff that i know is gonna be like a staple like pants i got two pairs of jeans and i'm literally praying that these fit me well i got these ones and i really love the wash of these they were kind of like listed as like 90s wash i need to keep the packaging because if it doesn't fit i need to make sure i return it because i'm not just gonna like keep stuff for no reason anymore and i'm trying to minimize so i got jeans with like absolutely no rips so that it can be like staples and essentials here they are it's a little bit dark in my room because it's like a really gloomy day so i don't know if you'll be able to see it well in the mirror but this is them they're definitely like more high-waisted which is not entirely my vibe i feel like low-waisted is definitely more flattering on me i don't know how i would get them low-waisted but honestly they they fit pretty well like they fit kind of perfectly it's just like that's the only thing the gape in the back i don't know how i feel about like the leg i feel like the leg comes out too wide for the fact that it's like high-waisted it just feels a little awkward but maybe it's also because i'm not wearing shoes it's like these were not cheap jeans so i don't want to like keep them and then i don't absolutely love them i don't know how i'm feeling okay i feel like these might fit a little bit better but it's the same thing with like I think high-waisted jeans are just not my vibe. I think they're just not flattering on me because they make me look super, super short and I just don't like looking really short. I don't think these are vibe. But I just want to find like a good pair of jeans or a brand that makes jeans that like fit me perfectly or like the material that I like. Maybe like Levi's and I know Levi's are expensive but I feel like it's a good investment if you're actually going to be wearing them frequently because I tend to just buy cheaper jeans but then i don't wear them as much as i would possibly wear like a more expensive jean that was kind of a bust i also find that i don't like jeans that are kind of like a stretchy material like i like when jeans are like that uncomfortable stiff very like 100 percent denim material if you know any good places to get boyfriend jeans because like that's my style i like only like boyfriend jeans when they're like baggy so they kind of come a little bit low-waisted but then they're long and then they're big i know that's very niche but if you know a website or if you have like even just a singular pair of jeans that you would recommend please recommend them i feel like i've been searching for the perfect pair of jeans for like my entire life and i've never found them the men doing construction have left so i can finally scream again i'm sorry like it's just part of my dna like i just need to i feel like belt Every time I speak, I warmed up some peach cobbler from Easter dinner, and then I got a cold banana. If you have bananas, put them in your fridge, okay? Cold bananas are so much more superior than, like, room temperature bananas because, like, they're nice and hard. It kind of feels like banana ice cream. I also don't know how to open a banana without, like, ripping the stem. But yeah, I was saying something about screaming being in my DNA, but it genuinely is because you guys have seen my dad before. My dad is very loud, and I'm, like... 90% my dad, 10% my mom. My brother is more so like 90% my mom, 10% my dad. But I am my dad, the incarnation. So like I'm loud. I look just like him. We're very similar. I did have a plan for today to like go outside and like go to a cafe and read and do all that. Honestly, it was such a cold, cloudy, and windy day. I had no desire to leave my house. I kind of feel like I just want to sit in my room and read and chill. I wanted to get outside for both myself and for you guys just because like i love a change in scenery i won't do it if i don't push myself because i don't necessarily have an inherent reason to go outside because you know i don't have to go to like class or a job or anything like that i do like to get outside because i normally feel very productive after i've actually gone into society i'm really upset with new york weather right now because 
They really teased us with that first 80 degree day and then we thought summer is here and then it went straight back down to 50. It's like 50 degrees today, it's windy, it's cold, I need my North Face jacket. Sorry, I'm just like, I'm kind of over the weather and I'm kind of over just like having my hopes up for summer. Right now, I'm like mostly stuck in the house and like that's just how it is. I get bored and I don't want you guys to get bored but like this is my life. I feel like if I already knew how to drive, I would drive more places and I would go more places like in the car but as we know I can't do that yet but I will start next weekend next weekend I'm making a pact now I'm gonna start learning to drive again that way hopefully by my birthday by August I'll be driving and then like I'll get a car maybe next year or something like that just because in the winter in New York I know it's so rare to have a car when you're in like Manhattan but I feel like Brooklyn is a little bit more different. It's a little bit more suburban, but I feel like Brooklyn is a place where it's like, it's kind of good. Like, it's not like a nuisance to have a car. It can be, but like, I feel like it could benefit me more and I'll be more inclined to go more places. Other than that, we're just waiting for summer so that I can go outside and do more fun things. I have so many fun things planned for summer though. Last year, I said that I would start this series about like what I eat in a day in New York City, where I basically like show you guys my favorite like takeout or like restaurant spots in the city. I said I would do that and then I never finished it because I went to college. But now that I'm here for good, I feel like I kind of want to start that back because I'm like always eating out places and I normally tell you guys where I go, but I feel like I want to do like more like dedicated series to me eating. I mean, it's genuinely like it's not going to be anything different because like that's already kind of what I do. My blogs are mostly just like eat, walk, sit talk and then that's it it's just a thought sometimes it makes me feel bad like i do look at other people's lives like when i watch other people's vlogs and i like see them like actually having things to do and like going out but like the reality of my life right now is just like it's not much in it there's not much going on right now summers are always better i think i said before how i was comparing myself to like how i was summer of 2021 that was genuinely like one of my most prime moments like my skin was glowing Everything was just like great and thriving. And I was like going out and doing things. It's also because like my friends were off of school. Like right now, like literally all of my friends are away at college. I only technically have like one or two friends here that like stay here, but they also are in school or they have things to do. I need to find some friends that like, it's not like I don't have things to do, but my things to do require things to do, if that makes any sense. I have a lot of work to do, work if you do say, but like it's really just like filming. And like filming requires me actually having to do stuff. I would like to go into the city, like go get like dressed up in little outfits and like go take pictures. Like I need to find somebody that's like also like an influencer like me and just like has ultimate time on their hands, but also no time on their hands. Every day that you wake up is kind of like a work day because you're like, I need to film some form of a video or take a picture so that I can post it. But it's also like, I don't actually have to go to class. So it's like, a, I just, I think I just need to make more friends. I was about to say that I've tried, but I honestly have not tried hard enough. There was this one time I saw this girl in the bathroom. She was stunning. She was stunning. And she was a fellow black queen. I feel like New York, and not that I'm like discriminating at all, but I really just, it's so hard for me to find people that I resonate with because a lot of people in New York are older than me in the influencing space and in like the YouTube space. That already is like a difference. And then on top of that, majority of people in the influencing space in New York City are white. So that's like a major difference. And I'm just like, I don't think we really relate. Not like knocking anybody, but like I just won't necessarily relate to like a 30 year old white person as much as I was, would relate to like maybe like a 20 something year old black person. It's just how the cookie crumbles. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. So I saw this fellow black girl in the bathroom and I was like, girl, you're stunning. What's your Instagram? And I was so proud of myself for that, but she didn't even live in New York City. So I was like, God oh, damn, we can't, we can't be besties, but I just need to do more stuff like that. She's to find people that are my age that are like, you know, kind of like lower twenties. Cause I guess, I guess I am going to be 20 this summer so I can start hanging out with 20 year olds, which scares me. It scares me. The day has come. It actually came so quick, but look at that. You know where that's from? You, it's actually pretty light. I was expecting it to be a little bit weighty. It's actually a little bit light. Sorry, let's open her up. Ooh. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, we got a little letter. If each of your subscribers were a light year, they could take you from one side of the Milky Way 
to the other. Wow. Wow. wow! Congratulations on this amazing milestone. Just one of many that we hope will follow in the future. After all, the, there are countless others out there who have yet to discover your passion and dedication. So much lighter than I thought. I thought it was gonna be heavy. Oh, it's light, yeah. yeah it's so nice. I can hang Very it up. Pretty. It says Maya Beatrice, a hundred thousand. That looks nice on your wall in your room. Yeah. Fire. Fire.